Okay, we have got a bum and thigh workout for you today. We're gonna to be working the glutes, the outer thigh, the inner thigh, and I want you to feel the burn today. So when you're walking up the stairs tomorrow, I want you to be feeling it. We're gonna do 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. All right, so let's get to work. Okay, so we're starting off just with body weight squats. So feet just over hip width apart, squeezing in those glute muscles, weight is in the heels holding the core nice and strong and we're taking it down nice and low. So weight is in the heels, so it's like you're gonna sit down into a chair. You don't want the weight in, so you can almost wiggle your toes when you're doing body weight squats. So squeezing in those uh, glutes when you come up. If I want you to be like, squeeze them all the way down as well. So really concentrate on really working those glute muscles. Weight in the heels, keep that chest up nice and lifted. Excellent, well done. And we're almost there, we've got 20 seconds to go. Now the problem is when we do squats, if you don't engage the glute muscles, so we don't concentrate on squeezing that the whole time, we tend, to, we tend to bypass the glutes and go straight to the legs, so the legs do all the work. And that's how we tend to not, not tone the bottom. Okay, last couple of seconds. Okay, so reverse lunge kicks. We're gonna do three on each side. We're gonna take it into a lunge and kick lunge and kick. So three on each side throughout the 50 seconds. Okay, so we're taking it back and kick. If you need to hold on to something you can do, that's fine. Okay, and change size. So taking it into a lunge. Again, weight in the heel and change. <clears throat> so you should feel the weight should be in the heel of this front foot. Excellent, well done. Okay, we've got 20 seconds left. Excellent, well done. Okay, come on, keep it going. We're starting to feel this in those legs. We've got seven seconds, we let's fit our last three in. Do a couple more. Oh, just one. Okay, so we're gonna side squat calf raise. So, we're gonna take it out to the side. Come up, calf raise, then we need to go to the other side. So side step, up into a calf raise, other side, up into a calf raise, up onto those toes. Again, weight's in the heel when you step out. Squeeze those calf muscles when you do that calf raise. So coming up onto the toes, nice big squeeze. Again, think about activating those glute muscles. So we're not bypassing and going to the legs. Well done. We've got about 15 seconds to go. Up. Oh, what are you having a ski squat lift coming next? Excellent, well done, almost there, last few seconds. Probably fit one more, quick one in. Okay, so next one, so feet are close together. So a narrow squat, and then we lift the leg. Narrow squat, then we lift the leg back. So again, weights in the heels, squeezing the leg back, so squeezing the bottom. A narrow squat. Whew. Okay, so make sure again that weight is in the heels, because if not, you're not gonna be getting the work where you want it to be. It's gonna go on the front of the thighs. Be everywhere other than where you want it. Whew. Okay, we've got, oh, we've got 15 seconds to go. What do we have next? We have curtsy lunges next. Whew. Okay, really squeezing that bottom when you take it back. Squeezing the bottom. Okay, so curtsy lunges, we're taking the foot behind, so we're crossing it over. And then we're going to bring it up without putting the foot down. So we're stepping it to the side, take it back, and then we're taking the leg up. So we're stepping, curtsy lunge, leg raise. Curtsy lunge, now putting the foot down, leg raise. Curtsy lunge, leg raise, excellent. And lateral raise. So take the foot to the back, squeezing in that glute again. And again, when we take the foot up, squeezing the muscles in the legs. 
do it wherever you want to tone, you want to really concentrate on squeezing that muscle so you're activating it all the time. Squeezing it in. Whew. Here we go. Last few seconds. Oh, and then we're taking it down onto the floor. So we're going to be working on inner thigh now. So, with a foot, we're going to be raising up the leg. So you can either have the, this in front of you, or you can have it behind, whichever you find more comfortable. So we're working this leg again. Think about this inner thigh muscle. And think about just trying to activate it. So think about squeezing it in. I'm going to keep going with this and then at the end we're just going to pulse it. Got a couple more exercises and then we're done. Brilliant, well done. Oh, so let's pulse it. So pulse it high. Don't take it back down. Excellent, okay, let's change sides. <clears throat> Okay, so again, if you prefer, you can keep the leg here. I find it easy with my leg to the back. Then lifting the leg up, lowering it back down to the floor. So working that inner thigh muscle here. That's a really hard muscle to work, that one. We can do a lot of things that work that. Okay, keep it going. For 25 seconds. So the last 10 seconds we'll pull a bit. And then we've just got one more exercise to do on each leg. And then we're done. So almost there. Okay, 10 seconds. We're gonna pulse. Pulse it up here. Oh, you should start to feel that. <sighs> Excellent, well done. Okay, so on all fours. We're going to be taking the foot up again, really concentrate on squeezing the muscle in. So think about squeezing that glute muscle, the back of the leg. So we're bringing it up, bringing the knee in, pushing it up towards the sky. And we're going to do the same thing that we did before, the last 10 seconds we'll pulse it up there. So can we think about that muscle? Because again, if you don't engage the muscle in your bottom, if you don't activate it, it's not going to be doing anything. So just try and squeeze it in. And when you concentrate on it, you can actually really feel the difference. Okay, we've got 20 seconds to go. So 10 more seconds of these and then we'll pulse it. Whew. Almost there, girls. Way to feel this in the morning. Okay, let's pulse. Push it up. Oh, I can feel the burn on the bottom there. Okay, last few seconds and we'll change sides. Great, okay. Last one. Again, squeeze that glute. Think about engaging that glute, keeping that bum nice and tight. I actually started a bit early on that one, so keep it going. Okay, so pushing it up. Again, activating that glute. Even when you bring the knee in, think about squeezing that glute muscle because you really do feel a difference when you focus on it, and then rather than just swinging the leg around, when you really concentrate on working the muscle you want to work, it makes such a difference. Same with the squats as well, in any of the squats. Okay, so we have 10 seconds. So let's pulse it up there and get that behind. Whew. Last few seconds. Oh, excellent, well done. Oh, and that's it. Work really hard. It's going to be a burner. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.